Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I want to ask you a question today. Have you noticed that warfare against your faith is ramped up or is constant? I feel like the attacks are intense these days. So even as I put this video together, I felt it. Actually, this video should have come out yesterday, but I had so much warfare that it came out today. Before I share, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came to earth in the flesh, died on a cross for your sins and mine, and rose again after three days for our salvation. The time is short. I'm so excited. Jesus is coming. He wants us to get ready, be aware, alert, and look up. The enemy is desperate to get you off your focus of Jesus and to become fearful or overwhelmed while the world is falling apart. You can stay safe as you wait for the coming of Jesus. There are many aspects to spiritual warfare protection, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the faith that we have, the word of God, and so on. But in this video, I want to share with you about Psalms 91, God's umbrella of protection. This will encourage you to get under God's amazing umbrella of protection. Psalms 91 is key for this hour, but listen and remember which phrase stands out to you as I read it. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your truth, your shield and buckler, and you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. What phrase stood out to you? That might indicate what you are facing. This scripture is a promise of protection over all kinds of evil. While we are looking up and darkness is ramping up, God knows that you will walk through the end of days to the day of his coming, which is very soon. He has a plan. Psalms 91 is a spiritual con contract between God and his beloved bride for protection. If you consider verse 1, the secret place is like a canopy of his bridal protection over his bride. He will guard his bride and he's calling his bride to come under his umbrella of protection like a hand who calls to her chicks and covers them with her feathers. Even as World War III is about to break out, God's promise to his people is safety from terror, arrows, pestilence, and destruction. We are about to go up, but some of you live in countries on the brink of war and need to stand firm in Psalms 91. When you stand in someone's shadow, you stand in them. The shadow is God's, not ours. Many months ago, the Lord gave me a picture of this beautiful protection. 
I could see myself standing and looking up at the glory of Jesus. He was beautiful, and I sensed he was inviting me to step inside of him. I realized we are in him, but it was a visual for me. I stepped forward and I walked right into him. I sensed his love and protection close around me like a blanket and felt completely safe. Within him, I was encased in layers of love. He then stepped forward and was enveloped by the Holy Spirit. I was so deep in his love at that point that I felt completely hidden and safe. Next, I sent the sense that the Holy Spirit stepped into the Father and in that, I had the three as one all around me and it was a secure fortress that no evil could touch. I was so safe and so secure and so wrapped up in his love. He wants you to step into him now. This is not a theological discussion, but it's a picture of how secure we can be if we draw into Jesus, the Holy Spirit and the Father. They are one. God doesn't want us to be under the enemy's strategies of attack, but to stand literally in him. Yes, there are distresses all around us, even from our family members, but they are not our enemy. Recognize where the warfare is coming from. God is our protection. He truly is our rock and fortress of safety. We are in union with him and we can abide under the shadow of the Almighty and be within his fortress. Read Psalms 91 over and over. Speak it and pray it and stay in Jesus. He loves you. You will overcome. He is returning for you, so look up. The rapture is so close. I can't wait to meet each one of you. Let's remember to pray for one another on this channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you need prayer. I do pray for those requests and others who see them will pray too. God bless you and have a wonderful day. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.